a large 2005 study set out to determine what the impact was of our weight on our risk for all-cause mortality, a general indicator of health and longevity. And what they found was very surprising. The lowest risk of mortality in the study was in the overweight BMI category. And the highest rate of mortality found in the study was in the underweight BMI category. Yes, this study showed that being overweight, that's a BMI between 25 and 30, made us healthier, or at least had a lower risk of a bad health outcome. And there's some other really interesting results in the study because the authors also strided based on biological sex, age, and smoking status. For example, in people over 70, being underweight, a BMI at less than 18.5, increased risk for mortality by 1.7 times, whereas class 2 obesity, that's a BMI over 35, only increased risk of mortality by a little bit less than 1.2 times. And class 1 obesity and normal weight were comparable, and overweight was the lowest risk of mortality. And in never smokers aged 25 to 59, being overweight reduced all-cause mortality risk by 36% compared to normal weight. And class 1 obesity, that's a BMI between 30 and 35, reduced all-cause mortality risk by 23% compared to being normal weight. In this age group of never smokers, being underweight and class 2 obesity both increased mortality risk by about 25%. This study is often quoted as the first evidence of the obesity paradox, but as we've already covered in this video series, similar results date back to studies from the mid-1990s. And in 2013, incidentally the same year the American Medical Association voted to label obesity as a disease, even though that was against the recommendation of their expert panel, there was a huge meta-analysis that included data from 2.88 million individuals that confirmed that class one obesity was not associated with an increased mortality risk and the lowest mortality risk was again in overweight individuals. These studies really make me think that we should be redefining the goal. What we define as normal weight doesn't actually look like it's the healthiest. So maybe it's time for a revisit of these definitions.